Hey you guys, um, I'm here. I'm gonna do, um, well I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, I just straightened my hair, whatever. It's kind of like a get ready with me, but more of a first impression video that I wanted to bring for you guys. I was just like, uh, I ran out of BB cream and I was just shopping around for something that maybe gave me some kind of a sheer coverage. I don't always use full coverage or whatever. I tend to find it cakey. So, um, I found this, um from wet and wild it's called intuitive blend uh, that's what it looks like and I have it in the shade it's like they're I don't know what color it because it doesn't really have a name it just says that it um, it's a shade adjusting foundation and primer so I didn't really see a color but it is one of the like the one before the darkest one um, and I just wanted to test it out. It says um, that it's uh, foundation and primer. So I'm not going to use a primer today. I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer to conceal my under eyes. Oh, it says in, it's in medium 177. So again, that's what it looks like. And it has uh, one ounce of product. So it's not that much. See, it's like... But I just wanted to test it out. It was only about $3 around that range. So... Alrighty, let me pinch my hair back. And I'll start with my concealer. I have this little concealer pack. It doesn't have a name and it's like a little messy because I use it a lot. So I think I'm going to go with a lighter conceal. And I am putting it just kind of like with this finger, it just warms the product up and it comes on smoother, I think, with a finger than with a brush. And I know it's lighter than my skin, I don't know if you can see that, but I like uh, that. I usually use it like that, like a way lighter color than my actual skin, just for highlighting. I look how it looks, makes my eyes look more awake and just put all of it I like that and get a little bit of red there on my nose gets red and that's that I might cover up this blemish but let's see how this goes I'm going to use my um, Elf Studio Stipple Brush. Can you see it? Yeah. And this is, I use it, I just shampooed it a little bit ago, so that's what it looks like. And I love this stipple brush for putting on product. But let's see. I'm going to shake it up. I always shake up my foundations or anything I'm going to put on my face because I feel that, I don't know, It sometimes the color sits. So it comes like that. It has like a little silver like tip. And you just remove that. I kind of like the, the tip of this bottle. Sometimes they kind of like pour out. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a, just a tiny little squeeze and then you just twist those cap on. So, put this on. Oh, and it actually looks white. So I'm guessing once you rub it in, it turns, it says it's shade adjusting. Let's see, I'm very skeptical about this. So I just grab it there. It's got like these little beads. I wonder if I'm not supposed to use a brush. We'll see. This is so weird. Um, so far I'm not liking this. I don't know if the beads are supposed to be disappearing. I'm going to use my hands. I think I am using this wrong. Yes, I am using this wrong. When you put the, when you rub the beads together, it's supposed to. I'm sorry, I don't know if that close to the camera. Let me do half my face. So far, I'm not liking it. Let's see. I'm gonna give it a shot. Those, like these little beads, actually are what have. The color in them, I know it says, and it, it dries too fast. Let's 
destroying way too fast. And I know you can't see it that good. I'll give you guys a close up in different lighting once I'm done. So, I'm gonna finish this and then I'll. I don't know. Let me see if I can take this camera out of the light. Don't know if you can see that, but it's not really. I'm not liking it. So just... Okay, so this is one layer. Let me bring it to the light. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it didn't, it slightly covered up that blemish I have there. And it was a little blemish right on the tip of my nose. Um, but that's just one layer. And so far, I just don't like the consistency. But it did, I'm sorry, I'm like way out of it. But it did, um, I do see coverage. I'm just letting it set. And I'm going to go ahead with another um, layer. And I'll let you know if it's buildable. I, it's, I'm going to wait for it to dry. Maybe it, it stopped, it. It just feels sticky right now, but maybe after it settles and it'll be like more powdery, and then I'll do another layer and see how it looks. But right now it's just really sticky, and it says that you can only use it with your hands. I'm not a fan of like putting foundation on with my hands, so so far it's not good. Whoop. Sorry, I forgot to close the door. Okay, so. So far, I just put on my second layer, and let me tell you something. Um, I have I have coverage. I do. It's not as bad as I thought. Um, but it is difficult to blend, extremely difficult to blend. Um, you can't really see it that well in this lighting. I, obviously, it didn't cover up a lot, but it did take away a lot of like the redness and stuff. All I'm going to do with that is just put a little bit of concealer over it. Conceal it a little bit. Um, but remember, I have no primer in here. Supposedly this is um, it's foundation and primer together. I didn't like mixing it. Very hard to blend. Like, had to do with my fingers. It does look like skin. Um, it just dries really quickly while you're applying it. So keep that in mind to blend, apply as fast as you can. It really and it and, uh, and it dries like it's not sticky anymore. And uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and we'll go from there. Okay. Alrighty, there is my completed look. Um, so far, um, the foundation looks like really good. Um, once I got the rest of my makeup on, if my eyes are red, it's because I just put on my falsies. I got the Demi Wispies on. So look, here's a foundation, close-up look. Um, you can still kind of see that blemish, but we're going to check here in about two hours. I'm not even sure what time it is right now. Babe! What time is it? 7.30. Alright, so it's 7.30, so I'll check back in two hours. And we'll see how the makeup is holding up, alright? So it's actually 5.30 because somebody is trying to lie to me. So we'll check back in two hours. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in. Um, it is 8.20 right now. Um, we start at 5.30, so it's 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, almost three hours later. And I'm going to show you how it's holding up. Um... Let's just get close to this. It actually um, doesn't look bad. It's holding up. I just feel like a little like oily, like around this like my T-zone, but that's like normal for me. So far, it's actually holding up. So I have no complaints at the moment. That's three hours into it. Um, so I mean, let's see how the rest of the night goes. Um, quick outfit um oh i shouldn't have turned the camera on. okay so right now the shirt i'm wearing this is from discovery uh, i don't know if you know the store but it's like here in chicago i think miami has it as well and it's just uh it's got the little um like fake leather here uh little um embellishments or what do you call these studs like right here and i'm wearing my id tag necklace i'm wearing uh black leggings and uh i'm wearing these little like leather boots 
Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I'm going out to my mother-in-law's birthday party tonight. So, um, so far, this is how the makeup is holding up. It's doing pretty good. So, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, so it's the end of the night. It is like midnight. I just last checked in at like 8.30, was it? I don't know, but it's been a few hours. It's, it's midnight right now. And I just want to say that I'm actually like pretty impressed with it. The application sucked. Um, but the coverage was actually pretty good. And it lasted me all night. I did get a little oily here earlier. And I put a little bit of, um, just a little bit of powder for the shininess. But other than that, it hasn't gotten oily since. It's pretty decent. When I was taking pictures, it actually looks like pretty flawless. Um, so, all in all, it was actually long-lasting. Yes, primer, it does what it says. It was a foundation and primer. It worked pretty, pretty good. And um, I liked it. No complaints here, except the application was really bad, and it dried too fast, but... So, go get this Intuitive Blend Makeup from Wet n Wild. I I recommend it. It's for $3. You can't beat it, so... That's that. I'm tired. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Good night. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you like these, I'll do some more. Let me know, and I'll do some more. Right?